Good morning, everyone. Today I got the key to this 2024 Chevrolet Trax. This is a whole new vehicle from what it used to be. Completely redesigned and rebuilt from the ground up. This is the 1RS trim level. They're, they changed the trim levels from 2022 to 2024. There was no 23. Um, they got rid of it in 22 and brought it back for next year. So you start out with the basic LS, you go up to the 1RS, and then there's the LT, and then the 2RS, and then the active. If you guys are familiar with Chevy trim levels at all. So in terms of trim levels, this is on the middle lower end. However, there's still a lot of great features in this, a lot more than the LS. So you get the special 18 inch wheels, black chrome trim, RS badging, black bow tie. What they did was they, it's, it's pretty much the same platform as the Trailblazer, but they squished it and lengthened it. And it is exclusively front wheel drive. You cannot get all wheel drive in the tracks, but that also drives costs down. So this way it makes it a lot more affordable for everybody. Tail lights are kind of a interesting shape. Go ahead, pop the trunk. Oh, I'm gonna unlock it first. Plenty of trunk space, actually. You can tell it is a little bit shorter, but this is still a good. I gotta lift this up because they put this on upside down, didn't they? Yes, they did. Yeah. So, let me flip this over. You got your spare under there. The carpet floor mats. Bring those up. There we go. There we go. Let me put that in upside down. So it has actually, lengthwise, it has about the same as the Trailblazer. It's just a little bit shorter. I actually love this new body style. Chevy really did a good job. More legroom is what that also means too. So we're gonna have take a seat back here. Right off the bat, you can tell there's a lot more room than a 22. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, if you don't care about front wheel drive, I mean, for the price, this thing sounds like this would be the way to go in terms of Chevys. Uh, the base price starts at twenty-two-one for the one RS, but uh, everything that you see here is standard except for the driver confidence package. So that gives you the uh, side blind spot monitor lights on the mirrors and uh, rear cross traffic. So if you're backing out of a spot and somebody cuts across your path, it'll flash a red arrow from the direction they're coming from. So those two things, it's like a $250 option. But... The total sticker for this is $23,485. So for, for essentially for $23,5, you got yourself a brand new vehicle. This is sharp looking, especially in this radiant red. Man, and that, and yeah, in the sunlight, this radiant red looks fantastic. Yeah, so it, it is a two tone interior. It's, uh, the jet black with the, the gray accenting and the red accenting because it's the RS. Go ahead and pop the hood for you. So the tra the Trax has the same power plant as the base front wheel drive Trailblazer. It is a 1.2 liter turbocharged three cylinder. It makes 137 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. Uh, it is driven to it through a six-speed automatic, uh, and fuel economy is fantastic. It gets 28 miles a gallon around town and 32 miles a gallon on the highway. So it averages at about 30. Yes, yeah, so and not to be confused with the Trailblazer's all-wheel drive power plant, that, that's a 1.3 turbo. This is a 1.2 turbo, and this has a six-speed instead of a nine-speed. Yeah, those lights look good. Very reminiscent of the full-size Blazer and what the 2024 Trailblazer is gonna look like. Because they're changing the front and, front and rear ends around a little bit. So let's hop in the driver's seat. Yeah, all this accenting is really cool. I like this. Has a nice texture to it. 
The patterning on the gray part of the seats is really cool. Oh, dude, there is some on the black part too. Start it up. Switchblade key. Push button start is not till the upper trim levels. Very muted. When it starts up, you don't really hear much. But that's a good thing for a lot of people. So the driver information center is a little twist on the turn signal stock there. You can see all your driver information. Fuel economy, miles till you're empty. Keep an eye, I like to keep it on speed. Fuel gauge, there's little white dots that deplete and go to the left as you run out of fuel. This is the new infotainment screen. This is what the 24 tracks and the new 24 Trailblazer is going to have. I uh, haven't had any information on those yet, I've just, besides the fact that they're coming out in the fall time, so can't wait to do a video on one of them. Single zone climate control. You have heated seats. You have a heated steering wheel. This is your uh, lane departure warning. That coincides with your side blind spot monitor. These vents are really cool. I love this red trim around going through it. Manual flip mirror. Cool, cool. Yeah, you got your radio right here, Sirius XM capability. You can pair your phone with Bluetooth. Same thing, you can pair your phone with Apple, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Got an outlet down there. You have two USBs, Type A and Type C. And then there's a button here you can turn off the auto stop feature. The parking brake's right here. They took the, tr the wheel straight out of a Trailblazer RS except for the fact that the driver information center is not on the directional pad. It's on this little stock right here. You still have regular cruise control. It's not adaptive. You still have your forward collision alert, uh, and your radio volume is the scroll up and down, and then switch between your favorite stations is left and right. Cool, cool. All right, I'm going to buckle in take this thing for a ride. Steering input's very smooth. Turn the fan on just slightly. Very, very, very quiet. Just sitting in the car, I don't really, <clears throat> in comparison to a Trailblazer, I definitely feel like this sits lower. It's definitely lower to the ground, lower center of gravity. Like I said, I think they, they squished the top and stretched it. That's kind of what it feels like so far. I want to say the legroom in the back is marginally better than the Trailblazer even. But that's what they want. What they wanted people to do was, if you if you don't care about front wheel drive, normally you would go with the tracks. And if you have to have all wheel drive, you got to step up to the Trailblazer. Which this, I mean, if you really if you don't care about all wheel drive, this seems like this would be the move. Because this thing's twenty three four eighty five for a brand new vehicle. I mean, heck, I think when they phased out the cruise in 2019, that's about what they were going for, if not more. Super, super quiet so far. We'll have to see the road noise on the highway and see if it's as much as the Trailblazer, because I know the Trailblazer's got, at higher speeds, it has quite a bit of road noise. The insulation isn't phenomenal so we'll see if they made the same mistake with this so far it doesn't sound like it
steering input's very, very smooth. A lot of low end torque from that turbo three cylinder. This thing hasn't dropped a gear at all, and this hill is pretty steep. Let's see how this thing handles. Very nice. Yeah, it handled very well around the turns. Like I said, there's a lower center of gravity than a Trailblazer, so it did seem a little more planted. I think what a lot of people might like a little bit more about this is the, the nose is a bit longer. So some people like to see the hood when they drive or when they park. So that'll be a little bit nicer for some people. Yeah, very, very quiet so far. Ride's great. Lane departure warning and lane keep assist definitely works.
right. On ramp test. I have pretty high aspirations for this engine because the three cylinder Chevy's been coming out with are pretty pretty peppy. Pretty good. Gets up to highway speed speeds pretty good. And we'll set the cruise control. Set it to 70. Like I said, this is normal cruise control, so it won't adapt to the person in front of you, but some cruise control is better than none. I mean, at highway speeds, I think at lower speeds, the insulation sounds a little bit better than the Trailblazer. But at highway speeds, I think they're about the same. Handles great, though. Smooth ride. Rides very nice. Okay, let's check out the backup camera. You can take the ladders on and off. Very nice. Very crisp and clear. All right, guys. Well, Chevy certainly stepped their game up with this. This is a very, very far cry from what it used to be.
<clears throat> in, a, in the best of ways. Yeah, she Chevy, when it comes to the subcompact SUV game with the Trailblazer and now the new 2024 Trax, th this Chevy, Chevy's got the market right now, I think. This, this car was, for the price point, this car is absolutely incredible. 23,000, well, 23,500, let's say, for a brand new SUV, subcompact SUV. And it still has cra a crazy amount of features. It still has heated seats, heated steering wheel. It has remote start. I mean, what, what more could you want for that price? I mean, I really, really enjoyed how this vehicle drove. The Trax is definitely, uh, definitely top, uh, top right now for manufacturers in this, in this segment. So really hope you guys enjoy it. I know I did. Again, thank you very much, Blaze Alexander Chevrolet, for allowing me to showcase your vehicles. Really appreciate it, guys. And I will see you guys in the next one.